Hi everyone! I'm Izzy, your friendly professional makeup artist. Welcome to my channel. I aim to help and provide easy makeup applications for makeup beginners and makeup enthusiasts. So if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like this video, share this, and subscribe to my channel. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you professional makeup tips how to create a makeup foundation for oily skin. Super init na dito sa Pilipinas, guys. And majority ng skin natin are combination to oily skin. So this video will help you how to make your makeup last long and to make it a transfer proof. Also, I'm going to share with you a professional makeup trick that we already been doing for years and this is what we call the baby powder makeup trick so if you want to see how I do this how I apply this to our makeup routine then keep on watching and let's begin first things first start with proper skincare so use a cleanser toner moisturizer that is suitable for your skin type since you are an oily skin avoid using moisturizers with creams kasi mga cream moisturizers na yan, it has oil ingredients and it will uh, block your pores that would cause pimples. So, choose a moisturizer that is gel-based, water-based, lightweight, or fluid type na makikita nyo uh, sa likod ng product or sa product uh, brand description ng bibili nyo moisturizers. As for the toner, of course, use a toner na for your skin type, which is oil control. And if you want alcohol-free, then do so. Maraming alcohol-free na toner na good for oily skin. And if you are a professional makeup artist, I'm not sponsored of this product, but I use this. For me, I use Meron Skin Prep. So, ang ginagawa nito, it helps to tighten the pores and it is a oil proof and sweat proof. So, ginagamit ko to sa mga brides ko. I've handled uh, different kinds of faces na and mostly yung mga nahawakan ko rin oil, oily skin din. Second tip is please, if you are an oily skin or combination skin, do not use silicone primers. Um, silicone primers does not help to absorb the oils. Especially kapag oily skin nga ang pinag-uusapan natin, di ba? So, I'll rather choose a primer, again, that is gel-based or primer that has a fluid type or may grip siya, pero hindi siya silicone. If you don't want to use uh, primers, okay, the best alternative is using setting spray. Yung setting spray na talagang it will control the oils and it helps to less shine sa face natin. So, layering setting spray as we do our makeup is a great way also. Wala kayong primer. It will also help to make your makeup last and hold and maging transfer proof by using setting spray. So, let's begin. So, I've already applied my toner. I've already applied my gel-based moisturizer and I'm going to use a uh, setting spray. So, meron sa Shopee na nabibili na uh, in Tagalog tingi, okay, by uh, size, yung ganito. So, kung wala kayong budget for, say for example, or bandike, wala kayong pambili ng malaki, meron sa Shopee, uh, original seller, meron doon, tinatakal. Spray nyo. Especially doon sa mga oily parts natin. And then, let it dry for a while. Get your damp sponge and press the setting spray. Or kung gusto nyo naman, pwede nyo gawin, damp sponge, spray nyo yung setting spray, and you gently press it, especially sa mga oily areas natin. So once it's dry na, get your baby powder. So hindi ako sponsored. <laughs> Maganda sana, you could also try yung Bello Baby Powder. Nagahanap ako nun, pero hindi ko makita eh. So, wala akong makita sa Watson. So, ito na yung nakita ko kung ano yung available. Pwede rin loose powder na translucent if you want, kung gusto nyo ng medyo social. And, ang magandang brush na gagamitin nyo dito is, um, pwede din yung mga fluffy brush. Or, for me, I like yung medyo dense. Para talaga nakapress siya sa, sa skin. So, I'll do a 
buffing motion. So, ito na yung powder. Get a little amount, tap the excess, and then you start to, to buff. So, you start to concentrate yung baby powder kung saan ma-oil. Kung dito ka sa cheeks, then concentrate ka, lagay mo dito. Pati sides ng nose. Then, sa kabila. Concentrate kayo dito sa kung saan oily. So, the purpose of baby powder is that, of course, aside from mag-absorb siya ng excess oil, at the same time, it helps para yung pag-layer ng foundation natin um, magkaroon ng grip. Kung baga makakapit ng maigi yung foundation natin, whether it's a powder foundation or liquid foundation. Okay? So, after maglagay ng baby powder and nag-set na ng setting spray, now it's a time that you'll apply concealer here, here, and kung ano yung mga redness lang na meron. Ako naman, because I want to make it natural, and everyday lang naman ang gagawin ko. So, hindi na ako gaano maglalagay ng concealer. So, I skip the step na na adding concealer. So, powder foundation. Ito na yung medyo pang malakasan na siya. Yung it gives a medium to full coverage. Like MAC Fix Plus. Um, kung wala ka yung budget for MAC, MAC uh, Fix Plus, you could use the Fanny Serrano, Jassy. Ito yung talaga mga professional uh, local brands natin na talagang powder foundation siya. Pero pag nilagay mo, it gives medium to full coverage. Um, you could also try Vice Cosmetics. Meron din, uh, I think maganda rin yung review sa foundation, powder foundation nila, okay? So, once it's dry, get your, it's either a dense brush, no? Kung gusto nyo ng medyo plakado, or malaking powder brush. Pag dense kasi ang brush, it helps to make the makeup application, ano siya, full coverage, pero ang effect niya is hindi makapal. Somehow, it gives a natural finish. So, apply. Kuha kayo ng excess. And then, you gently press. So, yan yung technique. And then, um, spray a little setting spray, let it dry, and apply your blush, your contour, your your highlighter. Pero ako, um, ito lang naman yung share ko sa inyo how to layer the foundation para hindi kayo ma-overwhelm. So, layer another setting spray, and you're good to go. So, that ends my makeup tutorial for the day, guys. I hope you learned a lot. And if you did this look, then don't forget to create the hashtag Easy Makeup Tips, okay? Easy Makeup Tips. And don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. Give this video some love, guys. Give this a thumbs up. Share this to your friends who need this makeup tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Keep safe, guys, okay? Take care of yourself and your health. God bless you. Bye!